this situation is no longer a natural disaster. This is man-made disaster. Because earthquake itself never kill people, but the collapse of the building kill people. That's our responsibility. And also then that the people lose their houses and they need a temporary housing, but the architects are not working there. Just the government asks the, uh, the prefab company to build them. So there is no architect involved. That's why that the situation is so poor. With my student, we made a prototype from our experiences in a few other uh, disasters, what is the most appropriate for the uh, evacuees and what could be accepted by authorities. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the partitions made of the paper chip uh, columns and beams uh, connected with the, the uh, plywood joint and just put curtain so that we can open and close easily. It can be built very easily and also cheaply, but also very flexible to adapt any size, but also we can open it to provide enough privacy, but also a certain level that the authority may accept. So I built it one by one to convince the authorities. Uh, otherwise, even if you contact them, they are too busy or they are not interested, it's impossible. Just I have to do it by myself to show them. And uh, when we are very lucky to meet a uh, very nice uh, authority guy, uh, they accept to, uh, us to do it. And also I have to, simultaneously, I have to do my own fundraising and also the, the finding the, the volunteer people. Historically, we are mostly working for rich people and who has the power, somebody who has power, in, because the power and money is invisible. So that they hire us to visualize their power and money by monumental architecture. So that is our normal uh, job. I thought I can work for more general public but as I said, I found out we are only working for privilege, and I was very disappointed about our profession. Before even this earthquake, I already designed the three-story container temporary housing. And uh, also I knew that the, uh, the, the government temporary house is so poor, so I was looking for the opportunity to, to realize this. And also that I thought that uh, the uh, this was a very uh, appropriate situation for my solution because of the, uh, this disaster area is uh, over 500 kilometer coast areas, which doesn't have enough flat area to make uh, the, the enough number of the, uh, the temporary housing. That's why I thought that the multi-story solution should be the most appropriate for this. To create this gathering community space, first of all, we have to create a space. The original community was destroyed, so that, that each one has to choose their apartment by lotteries, so then the, the, the people around are not their neighbor, original neighbor. So many people are quite lonely. Normally, the single-story houses is put about the distance of three meter, so it's only the, the, the corridor space. And even you may open the window, it can not really keep privacy. But by putting higher, we can have put the, the, the each one with more distance. So ours has about 10, 11 meters in between. So that there is many empty space available for the parking. Even we put the market by ourselves. I got the donation to put market because they, they cannot go too far to, for the shopping. So I wanted to make some market and also there's a small library for children. Now I'm preparing to make a public bus. We cannot just build even any idea. It has to be approved by each prefecture to be the one of the, uh, the, the uh, assigned, the, the uh, uh, pro uh, potential uh, company to be assigned. We have to follow the government process, otherwise we cannot just build by ourselves. By chance, I met the very good uh, the mayor at Onagawa uh, village uh, who was looking for uh, some solution to make enough housing because they didn't have enough land. So I proposed my design and he really likes it. So then the, 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 uh, the, uh, this mayor, actually previous mayor, was very enthusiastic and he has a good leadership to, to go ahead this project. Because uh, normally it's very difficult to do something different. So then he really took uh, the responsibility for this unusual solution. So, uh, so that's why uh, this was realized.